Today I'm going to discuss the afterthought sum, which is also known as a Latvian thumb. It has no gusset. And this type of mitten is constructed in Latvia, uh, as well as uh, some Sami mittens. So we'll do the setup and then we'll do the finishing. In this mitten, I've already knitted the first 17 stitches for this particular mitten and I need to put the next 14 stitches onto waste yarn. So I'm just going to knit them. You don't slip them off, you're actually knitting them onto the waste yarn. This is going to leave a line in the mitten and then the mitten is completed and then later we'll go back and remove the waste yarn and a hole will then be revealed for the thumb and then we'll finish off that thumb. Okay, so now I've got my 14 stitches knitted with the waste yarn, but my regular working yarn is back here. So now I'm going to slip these stitches back to the other needle. And there, I'm done. So I will generally make a little knot here, although the yarns aren't really going to go anywhere. And that'll just hold the yarns in place until I'm ready to take the waste yarn out. Now I'm back at the place where my main yarn was dropped and now I'm going to re-knit those stitches. So there's just one little row, a partial row of contrast color stitches that will eventually open up for the thumb. So now I'm ready to open this up so that I can knit the thumb. And one way to do that is to just pull out the red and get the stitches on your needles as quickly as possible. However, that is that takes a very strong uh, heart and I have found that a much easier way is to pick up the stitches below and above the waist yarn and then the stitches will naturally be on the needles once you take out the waist yarn. Now, one thing I like to do to make it easier is to pick up these stitches below and above on smaller size needles. This is the size needle I use to knit the mitten with. This is a 2.25 millimeter. And this is a, a 1.5, this is three zeros in American. Or, so um, I'm going to pick them up with these needles so they're a little easier to get. So here we go. Now what I want to do is pick up the right hand side of the stitch because then the stitch will be oriented properly for uh, knitting into. The right hand side of the stitch will be in front of the needle. Now, if you happen to knit in the combined method where the left side of the stitch is in front of the needle, then you would want to pick up the left side. So I just look at these stitches as though they were little V's. Now the end you're, is always a little unsure, but what you want to do is count your stitches. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14, and that was the number of stitches that I needed to have. So now I'm going to turn the mitten <clears throat> and pick up the right side of the stitch here. It gets rather tight here at the end, so that's why it's important to use a smaller sized needle. So one thing about this type of uh, thumb is that on the sides there's quite a gap then. So we will pick up extra stitches in there. And now you just pick it out one piece at a time. 
you can see that as I'm pulling it out, the stitches are being liberated, but they're still on the needles. Now all of the waste yarn has been taken out. And so we're going to join the yarn at the side. And we're also going to move back to the normal size that we had for knitting the mitten. So I'm moving back to my 2.25 uh, size needles. Now there are a couple different places here to pick up stitches. Um, a lot of patterns say to only pick up one. I'm going to pick up two or three and then do a decrease or a double decrease. And one thing you want to do is give yourself a lot of tail here because that will give you yarn you can use to kind of tidy things up once the thumb is knitted because you'll probably have some holes. And I go under two pieces of yarn here. You can see here's one and two. I think two stitches will do it. So now I'm going to knit across one side of the thumb. And now I'm at the other side of the thumb hole. So again, I'm going to pick up a couple stitches. And also I'm going to take this tail that I have and stick it down inside so it's out of the way. Now I'm going to pick up a couple stitches again. There it's under two pieces of yarn. And again, under two pieces of yarn. And now I'm going to knit across the bottom of the thumb hole. It doesn't matter which side you start on for your thumb typically unless the pattern tells you otherwise. So now I have my thumb on the three needles and I'm ready to knit around with my fourth. 